All right, Glenn Burns, I know that you, um, this is a very thoughtful, uh, feeling kind of man, and I know you'd like to share some words with North Georgia. I, I would, and, and I hope I can get through this okay. So, you know, I got here in 1982, and we got off the plane and got out to the airport, cars abandoned all over the roads, people walking home because we had several inches of snow that most of northern Georgia was not prepared for. At that moment, I made a commitment that that was not going to happen on my watch and there's going to be a better way to do things. So WSB has a major commitment to news and weather and we began putting together a plan to have the best storm tracking and procedures in place to keep you and your family safe. As of today, we have one of the best teams of meteorologists in the country and our own radar, Storm Tracker 2 HD radar. Our forecasts, I think, are second to none. As you all know, there's always that great deal of unpredictability in dealing with chaotic atmospheric weather systems, but we've been up to that challenge, I hope, and I hope you know, we've been through thick and thin together, right? Ice storms, snowstorms, the blizzard of 93. Got that one. Snow <laughs> again in 2014, and we've seen hurricanes and tornadoes and more tornadoes than I can ever remember here. And one of the worst, of course, was the 2008 tornado that hit downtown Atlanta during the men's SEC basketball tournament, causing major damage to the air. I remember the CNN windows being blown out. And my most vivid memory, however, was the Noonan tornado. It was an EF4 winds 170 miles per hour more than a mile wide homes obliterated from Heard County to Coweta County now one person was killed it was on the ground for 39 miles and possibly as long as 75 miles before dissipating in Fayette County it was on the ground for nearly an hour now, I remember this man's name vividly Barry Martin he left his car trying to get to his daughter's house which had been destroyed by the storm and he suffered a heart attack and he died and that was the day before he was supposed to walk his daughter down the aisle at her wedding now, our radar was picking up the debris from that storm being lofted in the air I looked over at brad who was tracking at the time and we were driving the radar and we knew people and property were in dire straits and, and really getting hammered there noonan high school took a direct hit fortunately it was at 11:30 at night can you imagine what would have happened during the middle of the day I've been to hundreds of schools during the past 40 years and have heard from hundreds of school children about weather. And I could see the fear in their eyes and their face when they told me about the storms that affected their house and their neighborhoods. And I always kept that in mind, in my mind's eye. And we were tracking storms, always wanted to convey a sense of urgency to take cover. I never wanted anyone to panic. I could just see the kids' faces, the mothers terrified inside the house, not knowing what was going on. But I just wanted to assure everyone that we were going to be here, we were tracking it for them, and everything was going to be okay. No one died as a direct result of that storm in Newton. It took a team of people to stay on the air and track that storm, along with all the others we've seen over the years. And WSB has a commitment to weather and a team of people behind the scenes you never, ever get to hear about or see that make all the difference in the world a team of such professionals you can't even imagine that keep us going. So I thank you all very much for the amazing expertise from engineers to writers, producers, reporters, and anchors when the weather turns in the news. I've had the privilege to work with some of the best in the business here at WSB. We're the number one news station in the country. And when I began in the mornings in 1982, I had the honor to work with an esteemed Jocelyn Dorsey, one of the best anchors, one of the best people you'll ever meet. A year later, I joined Monica Pierce, Cuff and Pierceman, John Pruitt, and Chuck Dowdle. Today, we have George Estevez, Wendy Corona, Karen Greer, Linda Stouffer, and Justin Farmer. Our morning team is amazing. I'm going to get up in the morning now just to watch, okay? <laughs> now, who could not be in a better mood after watching Fred Blankenship and Lori Wilson in the morning? Always in a good mood. I'll have what he's having. Our weekend teams with Sophia Choi, Justin Wolfon, and Candace McCowan keep you informed with the latest information, and I hope to soon tune in this weekend, too. I had the distinct privilege working with the incredibly talented news anchor who lost her battle with brain cancer just over a year ago. Her picture is just on the wall outside the news store, uh, studio here. I see that every day, and it reminds me what is truly important in life. So. Miss you so much, Jovita. You've had the privilege of being the chief meteorologist for the number one television station in the country for the last 40 years, working with Jennifer Lopez, Ebony Dion, Brian Monahan, and of course, Brad Nitz. Now time to hand the baton off to Brad as your new chief meteorologist. We have worked side by side for the past 17 years, and I leave you in very, very good hands. I assure you, Brad is as smart as they get, has the same dedication and commitment you've come to expect from Severe Weather Center, too. I'll become the chief emeritus from time to time, be backing here for the bigger storms, mm -hmm. add a little historical perspective. But again, I have never taken this job for granted, 
and when we've gotten the bad weather, I'm so happy you tuned in for us. That trust uh, you and your family gave us was truly appreciated. It was my commitment when I came to WSB 40 years ago, and the same commitment you'll see right now in the years ahead. And I want to thank my wife, Susan, my daughter, Kimberly, my son, Christopher, and for the sacrifices you all made during the run. So I want to thank you for your trust. Until we see each other again, I want to leave you with a Celtic prayer. May the wind always be at your back. May the sun shine upon your face and the rains fall soft upon your fields. Until we meet again, God hold you in the palm of your hands. Glad you. Job well Thank done. Thank you. Well done.